I often get patients who tell me that doctor I apply a sunscreen regularly it has an SPF of 30 or 50 and I'm still tanning why is this happening so we need to understand that SPF is not everything sun protection factor now this SPF is actually just an indication of how much your sunscreen can protect you from UVB rays let's get this straight so we are exposed not just to UVB but the sun sheds UVB, UVA and UVC rays the UVC is not important in this what we need to talk about is UVA and UVB UVB rays usually when we are indoors cannot come in through the curtains or the windows they are much more milder and do get reflected easily they are mainly responsible for skin burns so people who get skin burns or you know reddish patches UVB rays caused it but the main culprit here or in Indian population or in Indian skin type is pigmentation early wrinkles early aging UVA is what is responsible for this now UVA rays are the strong ones so if you're sitting indoors they can actually come in through the window they are the skin rays that even when you're you know sitting in shade they can get reflected through the surface and still affect you so we need to protect against UVA and SPF has nothing to do with UVA what you need to look for is the PA++ factor now that is one indication which will be there on your sunscreen which will help in telling you how much it protects against UVA Another indication is the broad spectrum mentioned there but look for the PA++ sign because that's what is going to protect you. Another common misconception is that SPF 30 is not as strong as SPF 50 but we need to realize that SPF 50 is giving you 98% protection from UVB rays and SPF 30 is giving you 97% so that is just 1% difference. So there's not much difference and you can easily choose any sunscreen with an SPF 30 plus. The next common question that we get as dermatologists, which sunscreen is better? A physical sunscreen or a chemical sunscreen? Now before I explain the two or explain the science behind them, we need to realize that these names are very technically wrong and everything in a sunscreen is chemical. There's nothing that is not chemical. So your FDA actually has tried to change this terminology and made it organic and inorganic. But just for everyone's sake and because this is what is widely known, I'm going to continue the video when saying physical and chemical. So, when we talk about physical sunscreens, these are basically chemical compounds that stay on your skin layer. They do not get absorbed. And when the rays come and hit it, they reflect it. They don't let it enter inside the skin. So they just poof. That is a physical sunscreen. How do you identify it? That they are actually also known as mineral sunscreen so they have zinc oxide or titanium oxide and both these chemicals are actually used in making white paint so physical sunscreens are whitish in color they give you a white tone and if you remember as we are kids we had those cricketers with those marks over here white ones they were using physical sunscreens so when you talk of chemical sunscreens don't be afraid of the word chemical chemical sunscreen is basically equally good as physical sunscreen there is a huge list of the compounds that come under this category. Now how they work is that when you apply them on the skin, they go inside maybe the first layer of the skin, just two to three cell layers below that. Okay. So what happens is that our skin is like a brick wall and it goes and settles in these between these bricks. It doesn't get inside your skin but goes and settles in the sides of these cells. And when sunlight hits our skin, chemical sunscreen absorbs it and makes it much more weaker wavelength so whatever wavelength of sunlight is coming the chemical sunscreen is going to absorb it and not let it go inside or make it into a much weaker wavelength or make it into heat so this is how a chemical sunscreen acts it works more on absorption rather than reflection so chemical sunscreens are safe but if you have sensitive skin you may get slight irritation especially around the eyes with them so you can be more cautious of that ideally a sunscreen usually has a combination of both so you get the best of both worlds comparing the two types of sunscreens you do need to apply an equal quantity of both whether you're using a physical one or a chemical one you need to apply a good amount when you're using it on the face or your arms necks also you do need to apply them recurrently 
there is no such thing that physical sunscreen is going to stay on the top so you don't need to apply it recurrently you do need to apply it recurrently because along with the sweat along with the different physical barriers it is going to break down eventually so you need to apply it recurrently so final verdict on how to choose your sunscreen if you have oily skin make sure you choose a gel based sunscreen these are lightweight non comedogenic and do not cause any acne if you have rosacea that means you have very sensitive skin you can choose for a physical sunscreen or a tinted sunscreen this won't cause any reactions and will actually help in covering up your rosacea too cream based sunscreens are usually avoided because even though they are thick in consistency we still need to apply the equal quantity so they're going to be really cakey when you're going to apply them lastly makeup and sunscreen so any makeup that has spf in it my suggestion avoid it because usually the makeup products have an spf of only 15 which is insufficient usually these makeup products you are not using it as thick layers as you need to so that's another issue where you're not going to get equal protection with it so try to avoid makeup with spf or if you are using one make sure you combine it along with the sunscreen I have listed below a list of sunscreens which are popular and good in India and economical and actually uh, fulfill all these criteria which I have mentioned so you can go through them for my recommendations for any further questions leave them in the comments and I'll be happy to help thanks